welcome to the pink room. I'm gonna put a twist on the show for today. We're gonna be reviewing children's clothing from Sheen.com and I brought my four year old son Zaylin with me. He's going to be our model for today. Hello, welcome to the pink room. He is so ready and so hyped. So let's get started. Okay, so we have this yellow sweatsuit from Sheen.com. If you didn't know, you know now, Sheen.com sell children clothing. So we're gonna see, with the help of my little model, Zaylin. <laughs> okay, calm down, little boy. We're gonna see how they size up. We're gonna see and talk about the quality of the material and the overall fit. So it's a yellow sweatsuit, 65% polyester, 35% cotton, and 5% spandex. Now I'm not too sure about spandex in a boy's sweatsuit, but we will see. So, good stretch, good stretch. But again, why we need stretch in a boy's sweatsuit? I don't know, maybe that's how they're doing things now. I don't know, it says unique down the leg, which is cute, some other wording. But let's try it on him. You ready, Zaylin? Yeah. <laughs> Tell him you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he has it on. Um, it fits. This is, well, they go by European sizes and it's 110 which translates to a four or five in US size. And that's what I would buy him, a four or five, if not just a five itself, because he's rather tall to be four years old. I honestly, I just really, it's more like legging material instead of a sweatsuit. You know, when I think of a sweatsuit, I think of cotton, like 100% cotton. And if it's not 100% cotton, maybe 90% cotton with a 5% spandex, especially for a woman. But I don't know about the spandex stuff for a boy, but it fits him. So I would say the sizing, the sizing is correct, you know, but I have one issue with it. One main issue other than the the texture and everything and it not really being a sweatsuit, sweatsuit, is that the wording, they left the L out in people. And just to be sure, because I know some of these uh, vendors, um, they're from other countries and stuff like that. So just to be sure, I looked this word up to make sure that it wasn't actually a word and it's not. So they just misspelled it. Cost about $15. So the price isn't too bad. And maybe nobody's really paying attention to the L because honestly, when I read it, I read people like the L was in it, <laughs> but it's actually not in there. And if you get it, you would probably read it like people as well. But it doesn't say people, I can't even pronounce it, I won't even try, but it's missing the L and it's missing the L on the leg too. So if you don't care about that, then it's fine. But I'm definitely not going to pink room approve it. But before I make the decision whether the pink room approve it or not, let's hear from the model. How do, how do you feel? What does it, what you think? It, it do like, it do like, mm, lemon because I have pockets because it fits on me. Oh, okay. So it fits on you and it has pockets and it looks like a lemon? Yeah. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, because I have mm, letters on here because I have U and um, I. Q-U-E. Okay, and that spells unique. 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 Are you unique? Yeah. Yes, you are unique. But I'm not going to Pink Room approve this because I of the wording, of the wording, the misspelling of the word, and just the overall when, feel of it. Because I was feeling, because I was feeling hot because I, I'm trying to get um juice. Okay, so he wants some juice, so we're gonna skip and go to the next outfit that he's gonna be modeling because he's hot, he needs some juice, and he needs to get out of the lemon suit. But pink room denied. Okay, so we're back and he's had his juice, so I hope he's hydrated. But we have these distressed jeans. They do not give a description of 
what the material is completely. They just say that it's cotton. And I can tell there's some cotton in it, but I would definitely say it's a cotton blend. And this Distressed, which is definitely the look that's going on right now. So the zipper is kind of hidden. It's a hidden zipper. And you can tell that it's poorly made. You can tell. Um, and I say that just, just by the way they look, you know, and the stitching and everything, it just looks cheap. But the whole outfit was $15, so, so you, you get what you pay for, you know. Has one little pocket in the back, so this looks a little weird with just one pocket. It kind of looks like girl jeans. Like I know girl jeans would probably have one pocket, but I've never seen boy jeans with one pocket, but times change, things change, so maybe one pocket isn't so bad. I don't know. But he's gonna have to try them on. And then it came with a little t-shirt says heartbreaker and the size is 110 and as I explained earlier that's uh, European sizing and it just translates to a uh, four or five in US size and that's definitely the size that I would get him it looks a little small but let's try it on you ready yeah you ready yeah tell him I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready <laughs> all right <laughs> Okay, so he has it on. The t-shirt fits nice. And it actually did say 100% cotton in the inside, but on the website it didn't say, it just said cotton. Um, the jeans, like I said, they're just a little cheap. They fit well. I mean, you know, they, they have length to them, so he can definitely grow into them or whatever. But they're so cheaply made that I honestly think that you can do better getting them from Walmart. I mean, by the time you pay $15 for the set and then you pay shipping, you could probably go to the Walmart, the famous Wally World, and probably get something, if not like this, definitely close to it with a much better quality. But, um, so nothing is wrong with the wording this time, thank God. So when you order from Sheen, you know, watch your wording. Make sure you read letter for letter, have somebody else read it or something. Um, just to make sure that it's spelling exactly what it's supposed to spell. Uh, turn around, Zayla. Thank you. I still don't like the one pocket action in the back. It really looks weird. Just looks weird to me. I don't, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't let him wear it. Probably not. I do like the t-shirt though. The jeans are just really cheap. So, how do you feel, Zayla? What do you think? They like blueberries. They like blueberries? Yep. Okay. Because it has two pockets. Because I have these socks don't match. <laughs> well, you put them on. You didn't care they didn't match. You put them on. But we're not talking about the socks. We're talking about your clothes. What you think about the shirt? How does it feel on you? It feels good? Yes, yeah, feels good because it tastes like blueberry. Well, you, did, you didn't taste it. You didn't put it in your mouth, did you? <laughs> He's silly, silly, silly. Silly four-year-old, silly I four year old. Eat the blueberry. You eat the blueberry. Okay, well we're going to Pink Room Deny. For the price and the quality, by the time you pay shipping, way too much. I don't think it's worth it. Don't waste your time on this so far. I don't know. But okay. Is that it, Zayla? No. That's it. <laughs> Okay, so today's show featured children's clothing from Sheen.com and I didn't approve any of it for various reasons. I said the sizing was fine. However, the, the writing, they misspelled the word people and it was just not good. I just would not um, approve it. And then like I said, with the jean outfit and the t-shirt, it was really cute, but the jeans were really cheap and I think you can do much better at Walmart, Target or any of your little local stores. Um, but you can judge for yourself. If you liked it, you thought it was okay, then that's what I'm here for. Pink Fox. Thank you for watching. I hope I saved you money. I hope I saved you time, because that's what I aim to do. Let me know if any item on today's show that was featured, maybe I missed something, I don't know. 
let me know. Leave me some messages, leave me some feedback. Let me know if there's an online store that you would like featured here. If there's a particular item from an online store that you would like featured here. I'll be glad to have it. I'll be glad to review it. Let me try it before you buy it. And remember, before you buy online, think pink. Think pink.